Okay, getting the coffee made in the morning. Vegemite done, nearly ready to go. Breakfast, that's, it's 7 a.m. in the morning of the big trip to Cowra, day one of the trip to Tamworth. What have you got to say, Bon? Just downloading apps to keep yourself occupied in the car, yeah? Fair enough, we've got the Bose headphones for you because of your great music that you're gonna play. Anyway, back to the coffee that I should get onto. Um, we'll check in in a sec. All right, nearly packed. Got all the essentials, haven't we, Bon? Yeah. Got the Esky at the back there. Got all got my the games guitar. on my phone. Got your games on your phone. We've got my little cowboy hat. Probably won't wear it, but anyway. Oh, um, and little bags full of, boxes full of CDs. So, geez, I hope we haven't forgotten anything. <gasps> Mum. <gasps> Shoot, we better go get Mum. Uh-oh, we've got our going away party here. They don't want us to leave. Um, mm. Just hoping that when we get back from our trip, that we still have a, a, a deck in the area. I was gonna say pergola. Well, yeah, that as well. Mm, you guys behave yourself, okay? Right, I can trust you, yeah? Right, okay. Okay, we've, uh, we've left beautiful Upway. We're driving through Upper Fentra Gully and only another, how many Jess? Seven hours and 11 minutes to go till we get to Cowra. Yep. We're already bored. No. <laughs> Are we there yet? We there yet? <laughs> we've got, we've got some so far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Up, up, way, way. That's where I like to stay. You can go walk your dog. Just not on the football ground When you're in Upway The rest of the world seems far away You may not know about this place And they prefer to keep it that way Okay, this is our first truck stop on the way to Tamworth or Cowra I think we're in Kilmore at a place called the Food Dairy and I dare you to eat any of the food in there. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back for more humour later. Bleary eyed Sunday morning, waking up at 6 a.m. It's a big day up ahead for the DRJFL under 10s. My boy's wearing the number nine He's a little blonde haired cherub face kid The anticipation's growing But I think it's more in me than him Cause it's the highlight of the week It's such a beautiful thing When I get to see my boy submarine where are we Bonnie where are we New South Wales in um, 
Holbrook. Holbrook, New Holbrook. South Wales, stopping here for lunch and look what we see. I don't even know how the hell did that get here. Is that real? It's real. It's a real submarine. Wow. Think it's time for a getaway. Haven't been anywhere for over a year. Pack the car, pair the phone to the Bluetooth. Grab the snacks and the dog, the family road trip. Well, it wouldn't be a trip to regional New South Wales without a stop at the dog on the tucker box. Gunder guy. Go. It's, not it's bigger in person. Once you get through packing them, Nana Goon is where the traffic dies down. Little one in the back, well, she's asking for Maccas. We pretend we didn't see the golden arches at the turn off to Maui. Hi, everyone. It's a beautiful day today. Just visited the dog in the tucker box. Thought we'd bring him with us. Probably got another hour and 45 minutes approximately until we get to Cowra. Then we can jump in the pool yeah. <laughs> and have a beer. Yeah. Wait, no, I can't drink now. Not at the same time. <laughs> Signing off. Signing off. Signing Love on the Tucker Box. With no shoes and see the way you're going I notice that the road is hard You sleep for days instead of The nights you should be sleeping And it's sure now the bed's so warm But just like that river rolls on To a beautiful Cowra. We are We're at the at Country the Gardens. Hotel. Country Gardens no, motoring. No, Looks like a pretty nice place. And it's very hot. What do you reckon, Bon? There's a bee. There's a bee? Where? Right there. He won't eat much. <laughs> nice swing, Paul. Joy every time I see you smile. When life gets hard, you make it seem worthwhile. You're my one in a million, so inquisitive, so pure. You bring me joy. Two, just about to leave. Time is 10 to 7 in the morning. We're in Cowra. Start the five and a half hour trip today to Tamworth. Okay. What do you think, Bon? It's going to be fun? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. and what about breakfast? Where are we going for breakfast? Macca's. <laughs> See you on the road. Big break came. Got a job midnight to dawn. Then from Hamilton to Hobart, Dolph FM, he worked them all. Like an old school there. Hold on tight to your dreams.
700 meters. And a ball this afternoon. Now you want to hear more new stuff? Then get to the weather. Yeah, the kids, the girls would have to sleep wearing old coats and blankets. Five in a bed. On the boys. Want me to drive? Nah, I'll be right. I'll do it. A real challenge. <laughs> you got your skill challenge here, crossing a bridge. Skill tester. When they say to go at 20 kilometers an hour, they mean it. Yeah. Oh, and through we go. Wow. Today's nerve wracking, to say the least. I'm shaking. Lucky you're a good driver. Combo, but, well, I'm a semi part time professional. I think that helps. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm shaking. <sighs> yeah. Tell that to the cop. It's a bit rough on the roads <laughs> today, I must admit. There's a fair bit of going on in terms of, um, what do you call it, potholes and rough roads. But um, so the estimated time of arrival in Tamworth may be a little later than we first thought. But that's okay. It all adds to the story at the end. That's right. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, it's hard to keep this still. But it's good to know that we're only 61 kilometres from Dunny Do, wherever that is. <sighs> well, not far to go now, probably two and a half hours to Tamworth. Yeah. We're in a place called Dunny Do. I think that's a, is that how you pronounce it, Bonnie? Dunny Do? Yeah. Yes. And well, we've Dunny found Dunna Do. Dunna Do? Dunna Do. Hi, Jess. Hi. And the best part about these towns is you get to see things like that. A bit of artwork on silos, just magnificent. Dunny do. And classic old pubs. The Royal. It's just saying, come in and have a beer. Is that what it's saying, you think, Jess? Yeah, beer. Beer. And you would also you noticed when you come to these Aussie towns. Your accent starts to get a bit broader. You noticed? I might just be in a... Hi. <laughs> Just about in Tamworth, but I got a sneaking suspicion. We're in a place called Carab Carababula. I was in a band called Hard Road, and we did a film clip out the front of this pub. I got a sneaking suspicion it was this pub. I reckon it was. Anyway, we can look it up on YouTube later and we'll see if we're all correct. <coughs> Yep, I was right, it was the place. Anyway, 25 years later and we're back again and if I remember rightly, it's still just as bloody hot. Anyway, and signing now off soon. he has a crazy daughter. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, the golden guitar. It's what dreams are made of. 13 hours and we saw the golden guitar. Cowboy hat? Cowboy hat? Oh, this is actually... This is the Cowboy town. hat. Tamworth. Cowboy hat. People come from miles around. Cowboy hat, cowboy hat. 
Spot happened. the cowboy hat. Spot the cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. There's a show in there. Diggers. We're in Peel Street here. So much to see. Fan zone area over there. Oh, it's a buzz. Bonnie and Jess trying to decide on a cowboy hat. Let the fun begin. Well, it was starting to feel quite real as the announcer called my name. The stage was set, the show was mine to steal. I was just hoping I wouldn't trip, split my pants and break my hip. A million thoughts kept rushing through my brain. Okay, just finished having a beautiful breakfast first thing Monday morning at this lovely little cafe. What's it called? The Hideaway. The Hideaway. We thoroughly recommend it. Don't you, Bon? Anyway, we're just about to go to the services club now to do the, the gig. I, I am a little bit nervous. I'm not sure what to expect. Could be thousands of people there, Jess. We'll find out in just a sec. Ah! Well, it's not a bad start. So far, so good. This is the stage at the services club and nerves are starting to ramp up. Another half hour or so and we'll be on stage. We all have our bad days, that's to be expected. Bill Larry was a hard man, a labourer on the wharf, a good footballer for St Kilda, till he got called up for war. His wife Molly and their unborn baby was who he left behind, not knowing if he'd ever make it back, or if he'd lose his mind. Oh. oh. Everybody at the count of three, one, two, three, gives me yay! What an awesome gig this is. There's Julie. Hi Julie. There's Brendan. And if each of you can just introduce yourself, your name is you are. Hello. Say it quickly, because we've only got five minutes left. Sorry. See you again. Thanks for having us. Hi, now sound guy. Phil, thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, we've just finished the gig. And I've got to say, it was one of the more memorable gigs I've ever done. It was a fantastic audience listening to all the songs. And uh, now, no mucking about, straight home we go. <laughs> so we're going home a different way with better roads. Look at the little road, Jess. Much better than all those bumps that we had oh, yeah. yesterday on our way up. Smooth as a baby's bump. And we're heading to Scone to have a scone for lunch. Is that right, Bonnie? No, we're having Mackin. McDonald's, fair enough. <laughs> Little one in the back. Little one in the back. Well, we'll check in a bit later. The noisy neighbor's leaf blower always makes me feel right at home. And that dog over the back fence that just won't stop barking, guess he hates just being on his own. The catcher keeps falling off the lawnmower That old Victor engine starting to miss And I just remembered that I forgot that it was midnight in this suburban bliss Living in the suburbs You've got everything you need Living in the suburbs Some might say it's the great Australian
Yep, another big thing. God, I love Australia. What? And here's another thing, another big thing. The Edamoga pub from the old Post magazine back in the day. Whoa, well, there's a plane crash over there. Anyway, and there's the pub. Bonnie, what do you reckon about this? Seen enough big things, maybe. <laughs> We're going to Bonnie Dune. We're going to Bonnie Dune. We're going to Bonnie Dune. Here we go. We're going to Bonnie Dune. We're going to Bonnie Dune. We're going to Bonnie Dune. Do you want me to drive on the way home? No, nah, I'll be right. I'll drive. <sighs> well, we made it safely home back to Upway and thankfully the deck is in one piece. No cockies have eaten it, thankfully. What a great trip. Hope you enjoyed our video. From Jason Vorher and family, we hope to see you next year.